good evening friend how are you fine hopefully you are enjoying the excel so again i am here to discuss something new in excel so today we will discuss something about the excel functions basically excel is really very a strong uh, software in which we can uh, analysis the data we can calculate the data as well as we can generate different kinds of reports so whenever you want to perform any kind of calculation in excel so there is a strong feature in excel and the name of that feature is function excel functions are really very powerful functions with the help of functions you can perform calculations analysis reports even you can find uh, your data from bulky data for example i i just open the sheet if you see this sheet there are serial number roll number student's name basically this sheet is related with the classroom situations where is the student name sex or status father name city contact number and the marks obtained by students in science in ssd uh, and uh, maths ict many 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 of the options are available many of the subjects are available so suppose you want to find the sum of the students here is the option i just choose i just make a new column with the name of total marks and in this field i want to add here suppose equal to a function s u m whenever you are making any kind of function you need to put the equal to sign and after that the function name and then you will start the round braces and when you open the round braces if you see it carefully there are some parameters number 1 then there is a number 2 then there are dots that means you need to mention the first number uh, and then second number then third number for the sum suppose i talk about the science english sst and i see i want to make the sum of these number first of all i click on this subject that means the cell name appear h4 then i want to go with the second i need to put the comma then i choose second value then again click comma then i choose third value comma then i choose fourth value comma then i choose last value that is i city subject so here i am just mentioning the cell name h4 comma i4 comma j4 comma k4 then l4 and after that you need to close your braces so this is closed now you need to press the enter button so here is the sum of the marks of a and uh, this student rose roll number is 101 suppose you want to find the sum of others so you need to put your mouse in the corner and drag it down drag it down the last record so when you leave the mouse button you will get the each student's total marks what they obtained from their subjects same way suppose you want to find the uh counting of the students so i am just mentioning this value for you only um counting of students so i just add these value here i merge it for you i'm using which formula count formula just for your reference so here i need to put the formula so uh, i'm just using equal to c o u n t count function now i again start the braces i need to add the first value comma second value comma third value but really it is a typical task so i will not give the value 1 comma value 2 then value 3 and value 4 i'm using a new method for this and the method name is basically uh let me reduce the size of the sheet so that you can yeah equal to count equal to uh, sorry round braces then i'm using the first value after that i put the colon sign colon sign from the keyboard and then i click on the last value so it become the reference that means i want the value from h4 to h23 h4 is the first column and h23 is the last value so i just close the braces press enter button there are two methods to give the value to the to the function either give the reference from the first cell to the last cell or second 
give one by one value like I do in some function. I give H4, I4, J4, K4, and L4. You can also give with the different menus. Suppose I give H4 and then I give colon sign and then I give the last value say L4 in a particular row. I L4 and after that I just close the list the center row. Again, the same answer will appear. So you have a two choices either give one by one value or give the reference from the first column to the last value. Okay. But in some cases you want to find the counting only of uh, counting of only those records whose value is above of a particular value or less than of a particular value. Suppose I want to count students whose marks are above 45. No, I, I want the output in in the condition manner so I use the count if function for this you will use equal to sign first of all count if again start first value will be you know h4 colon h23 the last value now the second part if you see this function there is a range I give the range then there is a comma and after that I need to give the criteria so my criteria is in you need to always you need to give the criteria in double quotes so double quotes greater than 45 double quotes close black one and done so here are 11 students whose scores are more than 45 in this subject same way I drag this uh, formula in every cell so uh, in this subject there are 13 students in this subject there are 19 students in this subject there are 15 students in this subject there are again 15 students suppose I want to find the maximum marks of each subjects so again I, I just place one more formula so here I am using max function so equal to max give the range so my range is you know again h4 colon h23 this is close and just so maximum value will be 80 some it should be 80 it should be there if you check yeah this is the maximum value 80 some same way suppose you want to find find the maximum value in the second third or fourth subject you can see okay so these are these are really very interesting function which help you to find a particular data for example i want to find the say total of marks whose scores are greater than equal to 45 now i change the condition i want now equal to as well so i just change the formula equal to s u m i f sum if function i'm using again round basis again just check range you need to mention so my range will be h4 colon l4 comma for the criteria double quotes greater than equal to 4 5 is the value double quotes close rect close enter so again the same marks is there so actually the students got the above 45 so there is no change so you need to move it down so just see so now values are changed uh, if i check this score no sorry this score uh, previously it was 299 now it is 255 actually this student have 44 in mathematics so as per my conditions so 44 is not the part of uh, their total marks so this this way you can also apply different kinds of formula excel provide you a lot of formulas if you click on the formula tab so there are uh, financial function there are logical function there are text function date and time lookup math and trigonometry many more functions are available slowly and gradually i will give you the demo of other function so hopefully you enjoy this video and if you enjoy this video please like this video share this video and subscribe this channel okay again thank you very much hopefully you enjoy this bye bye